Hey there, how's going? Let me guess, are you using Google Chrome as your personal browser? If not, then please like, share and subscribe. This video might not be for you, but still, thanks for watching. But if you are a Google user, then the Google is the best browser if browsing speed is considered. Considered. What? Consider? Kidding me? Well, unfortunately, I'm not. If the surfing speed and the browsing performance are the main concern for you, then you must be interested for making the Google Chrome faster to the maximum limit. I love Google Chrome. Browser, but one of the issue is of consuming a lot of system RAM, causing Google Chrome crash and make me work slow. A slowdown in performance is one of the blame often leveled on the browser. But luckily, Google have provided some flag issues to fix crashing and optimize the Google Chrome for faster web browsing and it will improve your productivity. Now you might wonder how. The increasing interest to know how to make Google Chrome faster and tweaking the Google Chrome download speed, here I am today presenting the easy tricks and simple tricks so as I increase the speed of browsing the Chrome. Keep following the steps and make your Chrome faster and better performing. Before that, thanks for watching Stalwart. Please do like, share and subscribe and please hang on. So respecting your precious time, let's start fixing the issues. Follow my steps accordingly to solve the memory problems. At first, let me show you the memory that has been taken and the CPU percentage that has been taken by Google Chrome so that you could find the difference after the process is done. So at first, what you need to do is you need to open run and write temp. then you're gonna find a lot of files over here so I have already deleted so I can find now after the deletion is complete please write percentage temp and then percent and then okay then over here you're obviously gonna find a lot of files as I told you I've deleted already so there are fewer one over here then you have to open run again and write prefetch p r e f e t c h you can find it on header so then select all and then delete Now, you have to empty the recycle bin, or you could permanently delete at first. Now, what you need to do, you need to open the Chrome, then go to settings. Then advanced. And then you have to reset the settings. Click reset settings. And then you have to clean the browsing data. Here just click into the uh, cookies and the cache image. You don't need to click onto the browsing history. Now you need to restart your Chrome and then go to help and then about chrome 
here it will start up an automatic update you need to wait for a while So the update is done. Now let's click over here and then more tools and then go to extensions. Extension is usually a very big problem. It makes the Google Chrome slower. So you need to remove some extension that you don't need to. You just need to clean the unnecessary extensions and go to settings once again and now advanced then uncheck use a web service and automatic send users statistics to Google you have to uncheck these two only and then to uncheck the use in background when you are not using Google it will run on background but do uncheck it then it will stop running it on background you don't need that and then you have to click the clean computer and then find after it's done if they ask for removal then remove something or uh, then go back and now you have to write flags over here beside Chrome the way I'm doing it just follow that to enter flags now you can type fast on the search and then enable this first tab and close windows enable it then now type smooth scrolling you can type smooth and then you can find the smooth scrolling you don't need to type the whole and then level then relaunch now it will relaunch once again now again to the search page type experimental quick protocol or experiment you can find the quick over there and then enable it then you need to type GPU restorization you can type GPU you can find the restoration over there and then enable then under GPU restorization you can find the MSAA simple count just go 16 done and then you can search default tile white then go for 1024 now go to default tile height and then 1024 now search simple cac for HTTP as you can find simple cat HTTP over here enable and then launch now you have to type show autofill prediction enable it then search automatic tab discarding enable it i have also coded the flag titles into my description panel in case if you face any trouble to customize following my video optimize background video playback then enable it now type number of raster threads you can search the keywords 
like raster over here you can search to raster so over here you can go for four now you can go for memory ablation experiment you can type memory or ablation experiment it will be easier for you to find then over here 100 type font cac scaling enable it then the zero copy raster here zero here over here enable it then the no state prefetch you can type prefetch you can find it over there here then enable pretender enable pretender here this one now search the omnibox UI narrow drop enable it then the scroll prediction enable it here the scroll prediction then search tab audio mirroring UI control tab UI control the search the keywords the one we are looking for enable now search parallel downloading you can find parallel if you type parallel you can find parallel downloading over here you can enable it and then just relaunch so now to start it once again you can show save copy button and enable primary and then Omnibox UI enable it then scroll and coring enable so flag issues are complete now we can relaunch it now we can get into the task manager to measure the impact here the cpu is still 93 because the wondershare video recorder is on background here's the screenshot that shows without any background recording meanwhile last but not the least google chrome has recommended malware bytes for secure browsing because the tech supporters are attempting to share google chrome users into paying for their services. The technique was spotted by cybersecurity firm Malwarebytes, which says most of these campaigns came from miscellaneous adverts and infected websites, and that the primary targets are Google Chrome users on Windows. So, this is the Malwarebytes that I'm gonna share a link at the end of this video. Until then, please like, share, and subscribe, and please do comment if you do have any queries. This is the Google Chrome link. Thank you.